Hello everyone, Sam is here from MyForestMagicWave.com uh, making this video again because I just made uh, made it but uh, the sound was was not there, we just got messed up so let's do it again. Um, Alright, so let's get started. I uh, just wanted to uh, you know show the activities of last week, trades taken and the reasons trades taken. So uh, let's get started. This is on the 27th. You can see uh, the week started and it's a USD CAD 20 minute entry is right here, uh, all the way down here from this level to this level. This is how easy it is from one place to another. You can uh, just, uh, okay, let me just, uh, I'm gonna just move my pan recording pan so that I can watch it if the sound gets better okay next trade you can see this pound yen here okay on the 29th uh, this is where I had had it short but when the pound news came out on Wednesday boom it knocked me out and went all the way up found an, another entry here and uh, 85 pip all the way up to 45 37 later on I showed it from this area after getting a short entry. I'll show that one later. Okay, uh, this is Aussie USD going down because of the Aussie weakness. I'll show you the chart later. And uh, pound Aussie because of the pound strength and Aussie weakness, this pair just went, you know, flying to the upside uh, right from here. And uh, you can see it one in 80 pip. This is a 33 uh, minute chart. And uh, there was another trade later on, on the 31st, you can see this after a little uh, retracement, another entry, and then look what happened, 190 pip again, all the way up to 8009 level. Uh, another one is USD CAD again after dropping all the way here, and then a B C correction going back to 61%, actually it went up a little bit more, uh, 3060. Um, and it's trying to uh, drop from there. Uh, let's see the another one. This is the pound in yen I was talking about. This was my long entry first after the news, and then you know later on start to drop again. And I'll show you why. What was the reason that is coming down? I was short before, like I said. There is a reason for that, and it's just that you know because of the news we went up ballistically, and then now you know coming down again and keep going down this was the reason actually i had it like the yen index that is going to drop from 61 percent but again because of the power news it went up a little bit to 78 percent and then from there it start dropping and look what happened to this this is what happened okay it's nicely coming down here and all the uh, you know yen pair uh, are also coming down with that this was at the setup that you know make me go short again uh, pound yen you just saw the short right it was uh, right from here, it was uh, news, and then it, came, it went up to this level, 61%, 45.37, and then I said it's going to drop, and I opened a trade, and it dropped. Simple as that. These are 30-minute charts. Um, similarly, your yen 30-minute chart that is going to drop from here, and it dropped. Right? This is how you know I'm doing as a cat yen. Um, I also uh, uh, showed it, uh, but my initial chart was this, that we're going to drop right from here, but again, when the pound news came out, yen got weaker, and pairs got, went up a little bit, but then again came down. What happened to this chart? Look. You see that? And my trade? Look. Straight down. Right? So this is how it, the power of the system is powerful, if you understand. If you learn, that's it. And a uh, few other, uh, be, uh, this one, New Zealand Yen. Also, very, very nice setup, but I was too tied up with uh, a lot of, you know, trades already. So, this one I didn't trade at all. But what happened to this chart? This happens, right? And also, this was the one that key, you know, because of the, uh, I showed it Aussie Yen. I showed it also um, uh, Aussie, Aussie Yen and Aussie USD. So, Aussie Yen chart, I don't know where it is. I can't find it. I saved it, but in the wrong place, I guess. So it's somewhere in my computer. But uh, and, and Euro Aussie went up, Pound Aussie went up, so I didn't trade pound, uh, Euro Aussie again, too busy. But Pound Aussie, I just showed you couple, two trades one for 280, one for 190. You know, that's enough, right? So, you know, why mess up with you know, mess around with so many uh, different pairs? So, because of this, look what happened to this chart. Look all the way down, right? Beautiful, beautiful move, and uh, it's keep coming down. 
weekly chart saying that it's going to come down a lot more than that okay so this is how this is it this is it so these are the trades i i did and uh, the reason mostly you know 33 minute chart 40 minute chart setup i showed you that this is why um, you know if once you understand that you know how see look it drop went up short the damn thing here okay and then you know it, it goes down here to extend uh, 127 extension this is 1.618 extension these are the two levels they go and then retracement again this is the retracement probably 78 percent this is the retracement of 61 percent see i mean i can tell you without looking at <laughs> measuring it <laughs> so retracement and then you know just uh, go with the flow that's it simple as that so it's a very nice system i do webinars on sunday and wednesday uh, tomorrow today is uh, saturday morning 8 8 a.m uh, i'll be doing making new charts and everything and tomorrow i will held um uh, hold a webinar i will hold a webinar at 4 4 p.m eastern where i will show the charts and explain uh, what to do uh, monday tuesday uh, and wednesday and then wednesday evening again i will do a webinar for thursday and friday explaining what need to be done and uh, if there is any new setup or new chart then i'll give up okay so these are the charts the before charts i make i give it to my subscribers and tell them show them what to do or not and uh, you know they that way they learn and they trade on their own okay so if you want to learn go on my website subscribe and be a part of this group and start trading tomorrow today's saturday you have saturday and sunday to set up your charts and start and get going so this is it for now thanks for watching have a great day i'm gonna stop the recording and i don't know what happened to this pan here somehow i messed it up but it's okay